Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at a, a method of solving word problems called make a supposition. Now, so what you're going to learn today, you're going to learn how to solve word problems using this method called make a supposition. Now this is a method that is similar to the guess and check method, but it's a faster and more efficient method of solving guess and check method. Now, but it is also a little bit more difficult to understand. So if you're not sure about how to use this method, you can always fall back on the guess and check method. Okay? Now, if you want to find out more about guess and check, there is a video up on guess and check. Please take a look at the video. Uh, otherwise, we're going to start. Now, so again, what are the steps of solving word problems? Find out what you know, what do you want to know, and choose a strategy. So this time around, um, there are two strategies that you have learned. One is the guess and check method and today I'm going to share with you the make a supposition method and then finally check your answers. So let's look at example one now. So I've made the numbers very small because I want to illustrate how this method works. Okay so there are five motorcycles parked in the car park. If there are 14 wheels altogether, how many cars are there? Now in, in make a supposition we assume or we suppose that something is happening. So I'm going to suppose if all the vehicles are now I can choose either to be to have motorcycles or cars so I will usually choose the smaller one the, the one with the smaller amount so which means motorcycles because motorcycles motorcycles have two wheels cars have four wheels so if all the vehicles are motorcycles then I will have how many wheels altogether so let's draw, okay? So one motorcycle, two, three, four, five. So each of them have two wheels. All right, so five motorcycles, each of two wheels. So how many wheels do I have? So five times two, and that will give me 10. Now, but let's look at the question. I am supposed to have 14 wheels. So that means I have an extra of 14 minus 10, and that will give me four wheels. So where does this four wheels come from? Now these four wheels will definitely have to come from cars. Okay, because I have five motorcycles and cars parked. I have five motorcycles and cars parked in the car park. So this four wheels, the four wheels here, will definitely have to come from cars. So how many wheels do I have now? Remember, each car has four wheels. This two wheels have already been accounted for here. Okay, because I suppose that all the uh, there are only motorcycles. So now I'm left with these two wheels. So these two wheels will come from the four here. So four divided by two, because each car has two wheels, I'll have two cars. So which means if I add the wheels here, sorry, uh, my car looks a bit ugly now. So let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, so this is 4, 4, 2, 2, 2, if I add them all up together, 4 plus 4, 8, 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 2, another 14, so I'm correct, I have 14 wheels, so that means I have 2 cars and 3 motorcycles. So this is the make a supposition method, okay, so now let's make the numbers bigger, so it looks a bit more complex, but same thing. 50 motorcycles and cars parked, 174 wheels altogether. So let's make a supposition. If all vehicles are, again, what do I suppose? I can either choose motorcycles or cars. So usually we choose a smaller amount. So if all vehicles are motorcycle, all right, how many wheels will I have? So I have 50 motorcycles times two, and that will give me 100 wheels. But I'm supposed to have 174 wheels. So I have an extra, 174 minus 100, and that will give me 74. So these 74 extra wheels will come from cars because if this is a car, these two wheels have already been taken, in, uh, taken into account when I suppose all are motorcycles. So this 74 must come from the other set, the other two wheels. So I take 74, I divide by 2, and that will give me 37. So I know that I have 37 cars. Alright, now to check, very simple, you take 37. So this is my checking. Huh? 37 times 4, 
37 times 4 will give me 148. So these are the cars. The wheels of the cars. Now how many motorcycles do I have? If I have 37 cars, 50 minus 37, that will give me uh, 13. So 13 motorcycles, 13 times 2 equals to 26 motorcycle wheels. So these are car wheels. So all together, how many wheels do I have? So I'll take 148 plus 26 and that will give me 174. So I'm correct. So the 37 cars is correct. Okay, so this is how we do the make a supposition method. Now let's look at this example. This was the second example that was shown in the guess and check method. Uh, there are 15 more motorcycles, 174 wheels altogether. Can we use make a supposition for this method? I want you to think through it carefully and leave your comments in the Google Forms embedded below this video. Okay, so you need to get out of this video, scroll down, go to the Google Form and type in your response. Okay, and then we'll discuss this back in class. So, what have you learned? You have learned how to solve word problems using this method called make a supposition. Now, if you want to look at another, another example, click on the video over there. Alright, this is a, another example done by another teacher. On This time around, it's on, coin, on coins. Okay, I hope you had fun.